What's up, everybody? I hope everybody is good. This is a general reading. Um, I was having like a tooth crisis. So, I am doing this reading uh, when my tooth is, you know, barely healing up and stuff like that. So, excuse my list. <laughs> It's more dramatic than usual, but this is for whoever it resonates with. So I missed y'all, and I could not wait to get back to this. So let's see what we got for the energy. I had a lot of realizations happening, a lot of transformations, literally death of a tooth. Um, releasing transformation and things like that so okay so we got the knight of cups reversed and uh, the six of pentacles the knight of cups reversed this is um unreal, uh, unrealistic um expectations Let's see for the Six of Pentacles. Maybe you were expecting unrealis unreal, um, unrealistic uh, expectations from someone, like to give you. Um, shit, I'm trying to word this right. Like you know damn well, like this person is not able to give you what you're asking for, but you still insist on like. I don't know, wanting it out of them or something. Let's see what this is all about, though. Ooh, yeah. okay. <laughs> the Nine of Cups reverse. This is about uh, inner disappointment. This is about um, maybe it's about yourself. Maybe you have. Maybe you're too hard on yourself. Um, the Knight of Swords. Resolution. Um, there's some kind of conflict. I feel like it's an internal conflict. The Tower card. Um, let's see. <laughs> Endings change, resolution, reflection needs to happen. Okay, so yeah, that is definitely the energy. Oh my goodness, that is definitely the Scorpio energy that I was talking about. Um, let me, I can't even go for it. Let me, okay. Unrealistic, um, unrealistic, unrealistic, unrealistic expectations probably you are like putting more on yourself like you are just going so hard on yourself like and there's no way you can can get this out of that like and expect a certain like thing you know what I mean it's, it's like you can't get mustard from ketchup you know what I mean and like you're so hard on yourself and uh, I feel like that's definitely what the Scorpio energy is. And the fact that the Scorpio card came out is, is um, like, death to, to that thought. Like, death to being so hard on yourself, to, to having that inner conflict. Um, it needs to be resolved. You have to... You have to... Um, internalize it you have to rationalize you have to process it in order to move forward and um i don't know if that's my energy or if a lot of people are going through that but it's really important um you know to to work through these feelings and like mine was on accident like the water wasn't getting cold in the shower and i just done had it and um but it helped me open up and realize a lot of other different things like 
I guess because I'm not in control of the situation that I'm in right now, but, and I just was just fed up with it and things like that, but it helped me to realize that even the the thing that happened to me, I wasn't in control of it. It's not my fault, like, you know what I mean? And so I was feeling a lot of guilt on my shoulders and a lot of, um, just inner disappointment like I'm really I'm a shitty person like I you know messed this up but really I didn't um it, it's not even really a mess up either it's, it's more like a lesson and what are you gonna do about it and it's time to move forward and it's time to transform and really move on it's been like a whole year i've been mourning this situation and um i'm ready to let it go i'm ready to release it like and sometimes we just have to let the old shit go wow that was just like really intense too um